G'day folks, John in Thailand and I've had to do a couple of jobs around here more than a couple actually seems like there's a never ending uh, list of jobs to do one, which was very important because we need this uh, tool which is called a slasher we need this slasher soon once we start pruning the trees in maybe two weeks to maybe three weeks time um, we have all the cuttings which are small um, anything pretty much smaller than that shaft there that's just a drive shaft for it things smaller than that uh, get chopped up by this slasher and it becomes it becomes mulch in a sense breaks down in the in the uh, orchard and we don't have to take it anywhere but Somewhere along the way, the uh, original clutch plates got destroyed. You can see it's got new ones in there now. They're a bit shiny. One on that side, one on that side. And uh, I did that myself. You know, a little bit of fiddling and a uh, use a vernier to, to measure the distance here. So they're all got the same amount of uh, pressure basically on the, on the clutch plates. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things you don't have to do all the time, but you have to do sometimes. Like uh, in here, which is a gearbox, you have to check the oil. And uh, a little plug around here to check the level. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, sometimes the universal joints, which is that's one on the on the back end, and there's another one down there in the front. Um, sometimes they have to be greased, and I'll have a zerk fitting on them. But underneath, there's uh, two two cutters, and they have to be sharpened. It's supposed to be hardened steel, but I think my teeth are harder. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not going to chop any grass with them. Uh, yeah, so there's one there, and uh, there's the other one over there, made out of supposedly hardened steel, which I doubt. And uh, this is just one of those things, you know, like when you live on a... On a farm or in an orchard, you just have to do little jobs, repair jobs sometimes yourself. Uh, and the next one is uh, the farm the motorbike track trailer. That we've got a tractor pull trailer, and we've got this one which goes behind the, the motorbike. Uh, but unfortunately, the the plywood's not taking the weather too well. It's second hand, like Tick bought it last year off someone. At, I don't know how long they had it for, but they had it for a while. So we're going to replace that with a sheet of aluminium, I'd imagine. I'll, uh, I'll measure it up, and next time we uh, go where there's an aluminium shop, I'll try and get a piece of aluminium fit in there, and that won't rust. Uh, maybe checker plate so things on top don't slide around. We'll see how we go with that. Uh, yeah, not much else, uh, apart from a bit of... A bit of pipe work up here behind the house. We're going to do a bit of pipe work. Uh, blue pipes drains from the shower. Uh, I've got Nong here now. That was moved around the other side. The boys did that when they came and uh, took all the timber away and moved all the timber down the back and then spread out the stones for me. So this is a better area and not likely to have uh, problems with snakes or mice or rats or anything in here now. Uh, yeah, so they made a new sump here for the drainage water and uh, uh, wait a minute, that one comes from the Hong Nam, which is the downstairs one in the guest room. And another one from up here, which is uh, oh, not too sure might not be dirty water, it might just be uh, overflow water and I'm not sure what that one is but the, the um, banana plants get get watered um, actually we've got some already cut and they should be ready in a day or two but I see we've got more bananas coming now <laughs> yummo uh, yeah so there's a pit in there which is not doing its job as you probably can see there's a bit of dirty water there from the kitchen which is this pipe goes back into the kitchen but 
it will soon have an elbow in it and it'll go down there to this pipe and then both of those pipes will go into the the sump here so hopefully the water will drain away better up the other end and won't be any dirty water from the kitchen at all now hopefully under here the the soil is uh, loose enough for it to or sandy to let it you know allow the dirty water to escape through the ground we'll wait and see you never really know around here but I just realized that uh, that banana plants looking on an awful lean maybe oh I see someone's put a stick under it tick to the rescue she already knew anyway enough of rambling on about one thing and another I'll leave you with it and um, catch up with you again bye now